In this demo, we're going to show you how we can take data from an SAP system and load it into salesforce.com using Alteryx and the Alteryx connector for SAP. So before I show you the, uh, the, the simple workflow I, I've built here, um, let me just set up the uh, scenario for you. Um, in my SAP ECC system, we have customer records and um, uh, we have a particular table called KNA1 which you'll see at the top of the screen here, which is kind of the primary customer table. And here I can see all the outputs currently I have in my SAP system. And I'm gonna load 20, 30 records or so from this uh, from this SAP system here into Alteryx and then push that into uh, Salesforce. So just keep your eye on this customer here called Emma Bull. And just to show uh, that we're on the straight and narrow here, uh, I also have the my Salesforce system here so if I just do a search for Emma Bull at this point in time, uh, we can see that no data has been found in that system. Okay, so uh, back to Alteryx, and uh, what we're using here is uh, our Alteryx connector for SAP. Um, because this is quite a simple scenario, I've chosen to use our table tool. Uh, it's one of the tools you can see at the top of the screen here, and this allows me um, to connect to a particular SAP system, in our case this is going to be an SAP ECC system, uh, choose a particular table that I want to take data from and this KNA1 is the same table uh, as the one I showed you on SAP just a second ago and also select uh, the main fields that I want to extract. Okay. Uh, we also have various filter criteria as well but I'm just interested in the first 20-30 uh, records in fact I've set my max number of records here to 220. Uh, moving on a little bit here. Um, SAP and Salesforce have different data models, they have different naming conventions for their field. So here I'm just using the Alteryx um, select tool to identify the fields that I want to pass into Salesforce and just map them or just rename them effectively to give them the name that uh, that uh, Salesforce.com will recognize. And then finally over here I'm using the Salesforce output tool. Um, I've established uh, and maintained a link between uh, my account and Salesforce and Alteryx and the, the type of object I'm looking to update is account object okay, which you see here. So if I just uh, run this workflow now and let the system work its magic okay so SAP is pretty much finished just now moving through to Salesforce Okay, so let's see if we can't see the outputs of our data. So I just uh, linked a browse tool uh, to my SAP table, and we can see, yeah, within already that uh, Emma Bull is one of the, the customers that's been extracted over here, and you'll also see her in the tool over here. So let's go back to my Salesforce system, and let's search for Emma Bull. And here we go, you can see the account has been uh, created using the Arctic tool here and I haven't brought a lot of information across but some key data related to the name, the account number, the, the billing address, telephone number and so on and so forth. So that's it really, nice and simple um, and we've got a really cool tool to better extract data easily from SAP, be it SAP tables, uh, SAP BW queries, uh, reports, info providers, tables as well. Manipulate them using all the tools that Arctic provide and in this scenario here post it into Salesforce.